about one win in five ahead of the game, and now we're talking about one defeat in the last 19 games. Whichever way you look at it, when you say they're 14 points better off than this stage last season, that is progress. Yeah, there's definitely progress. We, we said before the game there's progress. So Oli has brought a real attacking feel to this team, and you have to say Bruno Fernandes has been the, the big difference between them, I think. Since he's came, he scored 23 goals, I think. It's only Mo Salah who's got more goals than him. Um, so the influence he's had on this team has been sensational, really. From, from the day he came, he's created chance and he's scored goals because United before that just couldn't create a chance or score many goals. And if ever there's a realist when it comes to being a pundit talking about Manchester United, it's you. Are they in a title race? They're second in the league. <laughs> I think they were five or six weeks ago. That's a no, then? No, no, not really. Um, you know, the form over the last six games, two wins in six games, would suggest possibly not the way City are going. It looks like it'd be very difficult to get back to them, 10 points. We know it's a lot at this stage of the season, but it's been a, such a strange season. We just, mm. you know, if they have some kind of collapse, then, then yeah, possibly. But United have just got to look after themselves, start winning their own games, and that's all they can do. City looks so good at the moment, though, don't they? Yeah, that, that, that's a problem. Yeah. 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 Is it a problem? Big problem. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, our esteemed co-commentator sitting over there because he's just taken a world unrest before joining us for Premier League tonight. What did you think of the shout for uh, Luke Shaw for Man of the Match? Um, well, I, I think he got the left-hand side, right? Just, just the wrong one. Um, well, not fair enough. Jermaine sees the game differently. He wanted to pick a defender who didn't really have much defending to do. Um, we thought really it was, you thought chance. it was Marcus Rashford, right? I'd have given it Marcus, yeah, but uh, we see games differently. OK, well, let's talk about Marcus Rashford and Manchester United going forwards, because if anything was proved tonight, it was how important the attacking intent is from this team. Yeah, well, look, we've got really good attacking players now. Three forwards who can run, can beat players, can play in different positions. And I thought Marcus was a threat all night, really. I just wanted them to get the ball out to him more than they did. Um, OK, the keeper could possibly do better here. We, we know that. But yeah, he has hit that quite hard. And Look, Marcus has got such ability. I think it was 18 goals now this season. Four more to beat his record. Um, I'm really pleased with Dan James as well. You know, it's not easy when you're not playing games to make sure you're right when you're ready to be selected, as he was on Thursday night and as he won today. He's got such pace, such energy. As, as his manager says, and that's a lovely finish as well. I, I know he's not the most cultured finish, but he's put his head down, smashed it, and that's a ruthless finish. And it tells you something um, about a player when you can play OK and still have an assist and a goal in a game, doesn't it? It does, yeah. Well, you say OK. He didn't really have a massive effect, but they're, you know, they're the standards we, we expect from him now. He's been so good in games, and you, know, you always fancy him from penalties, assist, another goal. Um, assist was a little bit lucky, I suppose, but you know, a nice penalty as well. And he, look, he's, a, he, he's made a hell of a difference to this football team. Yeah. Next few games are going to be big for your club, you know. I mean, if we take a look at the fixture still to come, in the next five games, they've played the team in fifth, first, fourth and third. I mean, that is a, that is a period that is going to define their season, really. It is, yeah, but you know, you, you've got to play these teams if you're going to be successful. You, you've got to beat these teams. They have really struggled in big games. Chelsea away. Now, I, I watched Chelsea yesterday, yesterday. I thought they were OK. I thought they were a little bit toothless in the in the final third. Look, I, I think United don't have that much to worry about Chelsea. I, I think they'll be OK there, especially away from home. The record they've got is brilliant. The one game there, obviously, you worry about is Man City. Um, Playing so well, 10 points clear at the top of the league. Such a, a brilliant squad of players um, in fine form. And that will be tricky, but you know, they're capable of doing that. I, I look at the other games, I, I think they're capable of winning all them games. Yeah? Yeah. And it, it wasn't too long ago that we were asking whether United can get back to being a Champions League team. They were playing Europa League football, they were just off it in the league. In terms of the chase for the top four now, with Liverpool struggling this weekend, Chelsea not winning, is that the focus for this club? Do you, without saying it, no. do you think... This season? No. Because it's, well, it's, it's, he's played down the league all season long, hasn't he? He has played down the league. And, and with 10 points of it, with second in the league, you, you don't think about the team that are in fifth. You know, all you're doing is looking up at Manchester City thinking, can we, can we win our games? Yeah. Hope they slip up. Can we get close to them? And if we do get close to them, put a bit of pressure on them. Don't be thinking about fifth. Look, they, they're going to finish in the top four. There's no doubt about that. They're, they're too good not to do that. And the, the only thoughts they need to have are winning every single game they go into and hope City drop points. And if it is about winning the league, which it always needs to be for, for your old football club, what needs to happen to that team to get them to that level next season? When you've seen them this evening, what needs to be added? 
I, I said before the game, I think they're missing a real dominant centre back. Yeah. I think teams. We, we said before the game, you look back at history, the teams that, that win leagues, they have real leaders uh, uh, in the back four. I think Maguire possibly could be, but I think they need somebody with him who can be really dom- dominant in that position, can really command him, can bully a centre forward, can demand from the rest of the, the squad around him, on, on and off the pitch as well. Um, I just think they're missing it. I think everywhere Is that else. it? Do you think that could be it? Yeah, I, I, I don't think we're far off at all. I think the attacking play, I think the midfield players, Paul Pogba looks a brilliant player, the player we hoped we, we, we'd bought. Um, Fred and McTominay doing well, McTominay especially. And the attacking players, we, mm. the attacking players are a real effect. We've got a young Greenwood coming, coming of age now, really, as he's still a young player. Um, but the more games he plays, the more... The most star quality you're going to see. This lad could be a superstar. You've got Rashford, you've got Martial. Okay, Martial's struggling a little bit for confidence, I suppose. But that, that lad's got real ability. We've got the experience of Cavani. There's goals in the team. Fernandez, I've not even spoke about Fernandez. There's real goals in the team. I just think a, a real dominant centre half with authority. This could, it could, could take United to that next level. Because tonight showed, didn't it? I mean, Newcastle came into this game 17th, struggling for goals, caused plenty of problems. Yeah, look, I don't think there were massive problems with it. Thinking back at the game, did David have David have, have that many saves to make? He had a couple that he, he should have made, possibly should have saved the 